morning, Prairie Trace, and welcome to WPTE. My name is Avery Evers. And I'm Katie Selig. Today is Friday, March 13, 2015. Today is a great day. Next Tuesday is St. Patrick's Day. Speaking of St. Patrick's Day, I have a joke for you. Let's hear it, Avery. What do you get when you cross poison ivy and a four-leaf clover? I don't know. What? A rash of good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Avery. Now let's see what's on the menu for lunch today. Today's lunch is chicken tenders with breadstick, barbecue pulled pork sandwich, and popcorn chicken salad. Katie, did you hear what's happening on Tuesday, March 17th at Chick-fil-A? Yes, if you go to Chick-fil-A from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. next Tuesday, 20% of your total will help support Prairie Trace Elementary. I can't wait. I love Chick-fil-A. Me too. I love supporting our school. Now let's pass it on to Cooper Rigney, who's sitting by with Mrs. Gray. Thanks, Katie and Avery. I'm here with Ms. Gray. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to talk with me. You're welcome, Cooper. Here. My first question for you is, what is one of your favorite quotes in your book, in a book or a movie? Well, one of my all-time favorite co quotes is from this book, Wonder, by R.J. Palacio, and it is, when cho given the choice between being right or being kind, choose kind. Sounds good. Next, would you rather win the lottery or find a four-leaf clover that actually brought you luck? Well, how much would I win in the lottery, Cooper? Um, around 5.2 million. Oh, 5.2 million. Well, I'm, I, I guess, I don't know if I should say that I'm, I can be bought, but for 5.2 million, I'd have to choose the lottery because then I could share it with all of the people that I have in my life that I love and want to take care of. That sounds good. Lastly, what is one of your favorite songs? Cooper. How can I choose a favorite song? Every day I have a new favorite song. You know this about me. I listen to music. I do. It's a big part of my life, and I honestly don't know if I could pick an all-time favorite because they all have some sort of special meaning to me. She, lo she loves music. I do. Thank you for answering these questions. Now back to Avery and Katie in the studio. Thanks, Cooper. Now let's check in with Carly Kniff to see what the weather has in store for us this weekend. Carly, any good news? Hey, and Avery, the rain has returned, so break out your umbrellas. The high today will be 54. On Saturday, there will be morning showers and it will be partly cloudy later with a high of 51. On Sunday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 49. Enjoy the weather this weekend. It's close to spring. Now, let's get back to Katie and Avery in the studio. Thanks, Carly. I'm hoping for some sunshine next week. That would be nice. I'm looking forward to watching some great sports games this weekend. Speaking of sports, let's turn it over to Angela Rooney to hear our sports broadcast. Thanks, Avery and Katie. On Friday, none of our Indiana teams play. On Saturday, the Indiana Pacers host the Boston Celtics at Regional at Marion. On Sunday, none of our Indiana teams play. Good luck to all our Indiana teams participating in the Big East Tour at Madison Square Garden and the Big Ten Tournament in Chicago, Illinois. Now back to Katie and Avery in studio. Thanks, Angelie. Sounds like we have some awesome teams to cheer for this weekend. Go Pacers! Now on to birthdays. Let's see who we are celebrating today. Happy birthday, Evan Wodak. Happy birthday, have fun on your special day. We are continuing to notice exceptional leaders at Prairie Trace. Ashlyn Brown is standing by with some kindergarten friends. Let's hear what they have to share with us about their leadership skills. Thanks, Katie and Avery. I'm here with some of the kindergartners that have been learning and working with the Seven Habits. This is Lydia, Patrick, Annabelle, and Jackson. Thank you for coming. Jackson, what was your favorite part about learning the Seven Habits? Um, getting to do them, <coughs> then getting to like, um, do them every day. Lydia, what is your favorite habit and why? Synergizing because I love to help people out. That's my favorite habit too. Patrick, what do you think makes a good leader? I think a good leader means walking and putting your arms by your side. I think that makes an awesome leader. Annabelle, what do you do to be a leader each day? I'm proactive. I help my friends in our classroom 
What class, even when I am not F, I do all of my work in the best way I can do. I follow all directions the first time that they are given. Thank you for taking time out of your day to answer these questions. Before going back to Katie and Avery in the studio, we have a video for you to watch of our kindergarten students adding actions and movements to the seven habits. Enjoy! It is so much fun seeing great leaders in our school. Speaking of fun, we are heading into the weekend. Make sure you get outside and enjoy the sunshine and fresh air. That concludes this edition of WPTE. We will end with the Pledge of Allegiance, Leadership Pledge, and a moment of silence. See you on the prairie. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I, I pledge as a Prairie Trace Elementary leader to have a positive attitude each day. I will make good choices even when no one is looking. I will demonstrate the seven habits to make myself and my school an amazing place.